Welcome back to the bench. Just want to make a quick video talk about uh, somebody buying something for me. I just couldn't believe somebody would do this for me. And uh, talk about some upcoming videos. Well, a viewer contacted me and said, uh, What do you need? And, you know, I kind of wasn't sure. And after a while, I came to the realization that he wanted to buy me something. Uh, so we went back and forth. Uh, he told me the budget and everything. I said, well, I could use a camera. I'd like to upgrade this camera I shoot with. This kind of old, the uh, USB port on it doesn't work anymore. Um, you know, it's 720. I'd like to go to full HD now. And I'd also like to reinvigorate my photography hobby. So, I told him what camera I thought would be good after doing some research, and I went with the Panasonic Lumix GX85 here. And he bought it for me and had it shipped right to my house. Wow, <laughs> just, I still can't believe it. Somebody would buy something like this for me. And it's a pretty nice camera. A stereo sound. It does shoot 4K, though I'm very limited on my ability to process 4K video. So, yeah, I might try it. But at least I will move up to 1080p. The neat thing about it is the camera, you know, it comes with the lens. But for the same price, they threw in this lens I had a deal going they throw in this telephoto lens so I got the lens and the camera and he also got me a spare battery and a memory card so wow that's just amazing I can't believe that you know supporting me is not required but it is really appreciated and I see this a lot on YouTube I watch some other channels and I've seen where people have purchased things for other YouTubers. You know, one guy, he got a nice digital oscilloscope. And another channel I watch where the guy goes around and, you know, he travels around and visits odd places. They bought him a drone. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing what people will do. Highly appreciated. Oh, by the way, the, the guy who did it... it you know, I won't give away his identity. His name is Mike. He's the same guy who sent in uh, some things for me to review, like this tone control board, which uh, actually was a bust. But, you know, that's why he sent it in to have it reviewed. He sent me some blank LM1875 boards, which I have populated with my own components. I'm going to build an amplifier. So that will be an upcoming video. Some other things coming up here, some other videos. I have three amp boards coming in to test. And uh, two of them are here and one of them's on the way. And guess who's coming in? <laughs> Man. The kitty, he just knows when I'm shooting videos. He wants to ham it up for the camera here. <laughs> Another cat interruption in one of my videos. It's a common thing. Look at this bench. Uh, now he wants to lay down on my lap and rest. Okay. Yep, I have to clean up my bench. It's like you go into a job interview and they ask you, yeah, are you organized? Do you keep your workspace tidy? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really organized. You know, like you're going to tell them, oh, I just throw my shit everywhere. But, yeah, I, <laughs> I got to clean this place up. Ah, Snickers. Making it difficult. Oh, what do you want, Snickers? It's not food. He's been fed. 
it's in the evening and kind of after his uh, long winter's nap or afternoon nap really he wants to uh, get lovey-dovey this is the way kitties are uh, so anyway um, I'm going to build a discrete amplifier take a look at that and no I haven't forgot about the output stages series of videos like I said I'm going to spread them out but uh, more of those coming up and of course I'll pepper in some other electronics audio type things and even some LEDs maybe some microcontroller projects as well I have a couple of those I'm thinking of but yeah I just wanted to uh, put this video out here what's going on and just mention uh, the little gift I got well that's it thanks for watching